How's it going guys? It's Drew Junkie here and today's video we're going to be doing is talking about batch files. And I've written tons of these for Phone Lab, quite a lot. Um, they're very, very cool. You've probably seen and probably used many of them. Okay. Um, so I'm just going to show you one right now. So this is Amazon to Android batch tool. I've got a video on how to use this, but I just want to show you the, the file and I want to show you how to work with it. Okay. So we recommend, highly, highly recommend using Notepad++ to manage batch files. Um, so if you have it installed, you should be able to right click here and then go to edit with Notepad++. Very simple, okay? If you don't have that, you can use other text editors. You're probably gonna have to rename the uh, batch file to um, a txt file. So txt and that changes the extension and then now when you open it you can open it in any word processing application now you can see this is really like boring right just black and white okay which is why we want to use notepad plus plus to do it because we can get a lot better um, uh, layout and look of it and a lot easier to edit so I'm gonna make it back to a batch file we'll change that extension now if you can't change your extensions you're not getting the pop-up about that the easiest way to do that is to come up here and go to uh, change folders and search options go to view and then right here say it says hide extensions of known file types um, Uncheck that and then also do show hidden files and folders on drive Normally those two check in those you'll be able to change your file extensions after you do that. Okay? All right, so we're gonna open this up in uh, Notepad plus plus edit with that and you guys can actually see this is actually really nice because You've got green for comments. You've got um, this blue for these different commands. Um, different different things you can see are all colored differently, which makes it a ton easier to actually work with the file. The other thing you can do is you can highlight a single thing like echo, and it'll highlight it everywhere in the whole file, which just makes it easier to like look at the code and decipher what's going on. Um, same thing with like color. So it's, it's the same concept. You can see it's down here as well. So it's pretty pretty sweet. Um, so if you're going to edit um, people's scripts, uh, this is how I recommend doing it. I actually do recommend downloading somebody else's batch script. I mean, you can start with just writing your own if you're, you think you're comfortable with that. If you're not, download theirs, okay? View it, see how it runs, see what takes place, and learn to edit first. Edit first. Once you've got editing down and you start understanding how commands are working, then you can write your own, okay? It, and maybe your first couple is just taking their script editing it and readjusting it to make it work for you. Um, I learned that way and I think it's a great way to learn how to write batch scripts. Um, so what we're gonna do right now is we're just gonna run this one just to show you what it looks like. And one of the things I like to point out right here is like this, right? So you can see that there's a spacing. It doesn't quite look right on the screen. Um, the frame of the tool is a little bit off. So the easy way to fix that, I'm gonna show you. And this is the kind of stuff you can see and like learn about. So you wanna fix that. Um, what you can do is you can put in this, I've uh, got it commented out right now, but you can put in this. And this is a cool mode command that actually sets up your columns and your lines and will basically size your window, okay? So, and then this is also the title, so I'm gonna change that from two to nothing. So if we take those two changes and we save them and we run this again, you can see that now the framing of the window is good. And also we changed the name up here from Amazon Fire Tablet two to just fire tablet okay and this is also in yellow all right so that's just pretty cool right pretty neat okay let's close it let's do one more change just to kind of get you familiar with this so maybe we want to change the color right so right here is the color of our header and we're going to change it to f and we'll save that and we were yellow when we launched it and now we should be white okay so you can make these very simple easy changes without a, not a lot of effort to a tool. You can even make it so that what it runs per menu is different. So let's just kind of give you a few for that as well. So currently, you know, we're going to go to here's menu one. Let's see if I can pull it up here. Menu one right here. And this is what it says, right? It says this. Okay. So we're going to take this. And we're going to go ahead and just say hello. And we're going to also remove these. Okay. So basically what this this menu one driver test is just going to say hello. Okay. Right. So we'll save that. 
and we'll run the batch script again. And it's still in white because we changed that from yellow. The next tool is going to give us an option. And instead of saying what it said before for the driver test, it's seriously just going to say hello. So let's do enter one, hit enter, hello. There you go. Okay. <laughs> it's, it's that simple. A quick edit and you've done quite a bit with your script. So there you go, guys. That's going to be my video here, quick video on editing batch scripts and using somebody else's to really learn and understand how to do this. Uh, Notepad++ is an excellent tool. If you don't have it installed in your computer already, you really need to go back. Um, and I'll link the video lesson that you'll need to get it installed down below this video. We'll catch you guys in the next one. Root Junkie out.